The following content contains adult subject matter, including sensitive material, and is intended for adult consumption only. It may not be suitable for all audiences, therefore, discretion is advised. Lele Pons is not a trained expert, but is using her personal experiences to create a space for sensitive discussions. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Best Kept Secrets, the podcast for all of you amazing callers to spill your guts and get your secrets off your chest. I'm your host, Lele Pons, and I definitely know something about revealing secrets. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go to my YouTube and see my docuseries, The Secret Life of Lele Pons, to watch me go through some of the things that I haven't really talked publicly about before. Also, you can get to know me a little bit better. Now, here, what we're going to do in every episode is that I'm going to be talking to two anonymous callers about their secrets. Everybody will be using different names, so your secret is safe with me. Feel free to tweet me or DM me with your thoughts. And if you have a secret that you would like to share, you can go to shots.com forward slash secrets. Now, we have two great callers lined up today, starting with our first caller. Hi, Darcy. How are you? Hi. How's it going? Darcy, we're so happy that you're here with us. And I can't wait to hear what you have to tell us. What is your secret? Yeah, it's such a pleasure to be here. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for trusting us and opening up to us. So basically what happened is my um, friend and I ended up having an orgy with my best friend's boyfriend. My friend at the time was also seeing someone. Um, and it's kind of crazy how it happened. And the other partners who were dating the people involved still don't know to this day. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you had an orgy with your best friend's boyfriend. Yeah. And then your other friend's girlfriend. Yes. So, okay, so um, it's a whole cheating triangle here. And you're <laughs> just a side chick <laughs> of, of both I'm sides. Double side piece, right? <laughs> Why the fuck was I not invited? Um, Lele, <laughs> when the next one is happening, I'll send you a Google invite. <laughs> hey, thank you. I'm excited. Well, <laughs> I, I'm happy. Thank you. I haven't had one ever. <laughs> it'll be my first one but i'm i'm i mean that's that's it. very fucking intense how did it happen did you get yet one friend where you just like yo like uh i know like you're dating my best friend but i'm down to fuck you and to fuck my other friend's girlfriend let's just do it right how did that so it's 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 so funny because the whole thing wasn't clean at all Basically, last year, I had kind of become friends with this group of people that just, you know, love to party and go out and hang out. And I was like, this is just what I need. We were, you know, having a lot of fun and getting along really well. Super, super loving group, super non-judgmental. And me and this one girl, uh, we'll, we'll call her Martha. Okay? Martha. Okay. <laughs> For story's sake. Martha. So Martha and I would always joke, you know, and, and it was always a joke. Whenever we would go out at brunch, we would always laugh and be like, three, some, three, some, and just like start chanting it. Um, oh whenever there was God. maybe like a, a guy sitting between us just to like make him uncomfortable. Or, you know, if there was another girl that we thought was pretty, we'd go up to her and be like, three, some, three, some. Wow, I, I should start doing that. So, you know, it, it was kind of playful and we were never... It, there was never a you talk to talk you just talk to talk exactly exactly and i would always joke i'd be like you know i've never had a threesome i've always wanted one that's like big thing on my sexual bucket list right and also at the time i was you know there's, a, so there's a sexual dated... bucket list well i mean you don't have <laughs> it's like fuck the se- <laughs> fuck the bucket list there's a bucket list for this category though <laughs> I mean, come on, like, you, people have bucket lists for places they want to go. Yeah, you're they just want like, I want to go, I want to go sexual. And, and people they want to try, right? That is so funny. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Okay, okay, so, so, so how, did it, how did it happen that you had a threesome with the wrong people? So basically, we all ended up having a party. It was around the holiday season. 
you know, we had a big get together with all of our friends um, and our the, the guy friend who was dating my best friend at the time. We'll we'll call him George. George uh, and you know. Martha was who? <laughs> <laughs> George and Martha, like like the first president and the first lady. Okay, of the so United States. <laughs> Martha's your best friend, and George <laughs> is the guy she's dating. No, okay, so my best friend, um, we can call her Susie. She's the one okay. who wasn't involved and doesn't know. Okay. George, you know, big time partier. Uh, he wanted to spice up the evening. And by spice it up, I mean he went into people's mouths, go open up, and just popped a little little Molly in our mouths. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Now, m- mind you. I mean, not cool, <laughs> I, but but understandable. I, <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. I don't want the, the the public to think that he was out there, you know, drugging everyone because that's not his style. Like he wouldn't have done it if he didn't um, ask to people who weren't who weren't like down for it. 100%. If that makes sense. I mean, he's just hanging out in the bed. My other friend, um, Martha, she's in there with him. And okay. I, I go in, and, and Martha and I, you know, now the, the drugs are kicking in, and everybody's peeling out one by one. So the lights were off, and and there's one other girl left behind. I didn't really know her. We'll just call her girl number three, okay? Girl number three. Because <laughs> she was someone else's friend. She's just left behind. And she too. was left behind. You guys found her. Right. So me and my friends start saying our joke, three thumb, three thumb. But then next thing you know, we're kissing. Okay. You and Martha. And then, yeah, me and Martha. And then girl number three, she joins us. So now we've got three ladies kissing. And of course, you've got George. He's there. He's a little poor George. On the you alcohol. know, poor George watching these three yeah. girls kiss. <laughs> he's taken. Exactly. He can't do anything. <laughs> but he's also he's in Molly, not. so he should. <laughs> Exactly. He's got the he's got the drugs vibing too and we're like, George, what are you waiting for? And we pull him yeah. in and clothes are flying everywhere and it's like there's literally no stopping. We're switching, doing things. And then someone comes in. So we're oh, no. freaking out and we all sit up and it's another girl. Another one. Another one. And she comes in and she's like, Y'all having an orgy without me? And we're like oh. uh <laughs> Let's have a fucking like, six them. Come on in. So she gets in there. A We're random all, girl. Like, on her. Literally, one girl's on her mouth. One girl's on the titty. The other's down on the kitty. And then she's like, What's wait, I have to go back to the, <laughs> the kitty. Oh, the clitoris. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> the, little, the little lady downstairs. The little bean. <laughs> yes. It's like in the bean. Um, yeah, but then she's like, oh, wait, I have to go back to the club. So she left, and we were oh, like, okay, okay cool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so the four of us were just she's there just, to have fun She just stopped finish. by, got a little bit yes. of a nip slip, and then she, leave, she leaves. Right. Uh, but who who am I to judge, you know, if you're just there for a, you are a no two one second to judge right <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but it, it was so... Um, it's ironic because I had always wanted a threesome and I skipped right from a threesome to like a foursome, five some. Five some, yeah. And I'm like, of course. <laughs> I still haven't had my threesome. But it was also really interesting because I was able to have the realization that I think I like girls. Oh, man. <laughs> as well as guys. That's how you find out. So. Yeah, it, even though the whole situation, yes, I know, maybe a little bit shady. Okay, definitely a lot bit shady, um, which I acknowledge, you know, and that's, that's for good. me and, and, <laughs> and my soul to deal with. Yes. But the good thing that came out of it is that I was able to just really have the confidence to just come out and, like, share my sexuality with my friends. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, girls and guys the, the good thing yeah. is that if Susie says why did you why did you do that you can just be like listen I don't like your boyfriend I'm lesbian you know so like exactly. she should be mad at her boyfriend George for not I mean she should have been like George why didn't you control yourself after looking at three beautiful women fucking you know like why did you have to go exactly. in <laughs> yeah. it's like but bait. the thing is they were already a little bit rocky and they ended things you know not too long after so 
I'm sure if I told her now, she would be pretty understanding. But She doesn't know? She still doesn't know. <laughs> Susie. Poor Susie doesn't know shit. I know. <laughs> they're not dating, so... Do, You're right. Do they're really not dating. Who cares a fuck? <laughs> Who cares a fuck? As long, as long as you and Martha are good, I'm good. Yeah, me and Martha are good. Me, George, Martha, and we grabbed our other, our other, our other friend. We go down to the testing center. We get tested together, like a little testing party. And then we had lunch, and we called ourselves the responsible hoes. Thank you for opening up. I hope to, <laughs> to uh, come across your room one day and uh, <laughs> join. The oh yeah, <laughs> just just close your nose, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I Why don't know. I have to close my nose. Sex in the air, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Oh, all all the best to you. Thank Seriously. you, you too. Okay. <laughs> I just have to say that I love this girl so much because this whole time she was laughing while talking about her experience and I felt like I was there because like it kept on going and kept on going. And I don't know, like, this story made me crack up because, like, it's just so bizarre. It's just like a fucking sex buffet everywhere. And um, I don't know, props to this girl for being so uh, positive after all the shit that she went through that night. I mean, it's kind of crazy <laughs> for getting her expectations high and get instead of a threesome, she got a fifth sum. Good job, girl. Like, you stepped it up. That was really funny. Um, I wish I would have seen the whole thing. <laughs> Martha, you always knew you were gonna have a threesome. You always I mean who calls who goes randomly is like threesome, threesome, you're about to fight. You for sure are gonna have a threesome. You're waiting it for it to happen. So honestly, that was great. That was really funny. I don't know why I was laughing so much. Stay tuned for our next caller just after this quick break. Welcome back, guys. So I just released some special merch for all my best kept secrets listeners. All you have to do is visit lilshop.com forward slash Lele and enter the promo code secrets for 20% off your order. Our first caller was wild. I wonder what our second caller has in store for us. Hi, Crystal. Hi. So tell me, what is your secret? What do you want to tell us? My secret is that I uh, faked my graduation from college. Uh, Ivy League college at that. Oh, Ivy League? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. What, wh why did you fake it? Well, because I needed one more class to graduate, and they were telling me that I would have to graduate the next January. Who graduates in January? No. And I thought, oh, they have got to be kidding me because both my mother and father and my great aunt told me they had major surprises for me and i was not trying to wait until <laughs> the following year January for the major surprise right no mm -hmm. of course not of course not did you no. get those, those surprises did you get them yes what um, were they my father and mother sent me to uh brazil all expense paid and oh, wow. um, Brazil. yeah that was a lot of fun and then plus we knew a family that lived in ecuador that met me at the airport and showed me around and and then my great aunt is founded the first black school in philadelphia private school hey, that's amazing. Um, in 1962 so she's like hey paid in the shade so she gave me the all-expense paid cruise and then said i thought i was gonna let's make a deal because she said what do you think is in the suitcases it was a whole um, brand new set of light blue, which is what was my favorite color at the time. Um, so light bases. blue. Yeah, light blue to American Tourista suitcases, and that was big back then. They were like a big name. So I looked inside, and there were 10 $100 bills. And I thought, oh, great. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, plus the cruise, <laughs> plus spending money on the cruise. I thought I was in heaven. Oh, my God. I, you know what? You deserved it because it looked like you had a fucking blast. I did. Not only that, it was Love Boat on the cruise. I met somebody, and we fell in love no. on the cruise. <laughs> no way. Tell us about the He was the, the only cruise. guy on the cruise my age. Wait, wait, the only guy on the cruise your age? Yes, he was what with his grandfather, and I was with my great aunt, my great uncle, my great grandmother, my two cousins. Oh wow, the whole family. Yeah, you know, oh, a good, wow. a good, a, a good portion of the best representatives, anyway. <laughs> How did you fake a graduation? Well, first of all, they gave me the cap and gown early. 
Okay, so they gave that to us. We didn't graduate till May, but they gave that to us way back in, in um, like February. And I'm like, are they crazy? <laughs> I didn't know then at the time what I was going to do. But I thought, oh, great. They gave it to us early because I really thought, you know, I was going to qualify at the time. And um, so then I thought, well, phew, I have to get the prizes. Suppose one of them dies just giving me the prize prior to me graduating if I wait till next year. That won't be fun. So, because they probably won't put it in the will. <laughs> so, I oh figured. Oh, my God. What I, <laughs> I figured what I would do is just tell them, just like everything is everything, everything is fine. Everybody came. They took me to a really fancy Penn restaurant on the campus. My dad and mom and all my four sisters and my a couple of nieces and nephews were there, a couple of cousins. So, I guess it probably was like 10, 10 to 15 of us. And, uh,. So we had a rip. The only problem was my great aunt, she's so diligent, goes and gets 10 books and gives them out to everybody. And guess whose name is not in there? And, I, and they said, there must be some type of typo because we don't see your name. I said, oh, yeah. They told me at the last minute that they, you know, they had messed up with the printer and they were very sorry. I have hey, a letter you were not at home. In, the, in the list of graduation. No. Like, no, but I told them I had a, a, a letter of apology from the university at home that they were very sorry and that they were going to get me my own special. You know, nobody asked later about it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you love this. It was so much fun. I just made everything up as I went along. What the heck? I, you know what? I, I'm, I feel like you had more fun making this than in your vacation. Like this whole thing. I did. I really did because it was a thousand of us. That's why they didn't check anybody. They just let us right through. And we had beach balls, the, the multicolor kind, um, doing like it was volleyball all over around the graduation while they were while they were talking and everything. Like we didn't even want to hear it. It was like, we're out. You can't do anything up to us. And this is what we're doing. It's funny as heck. Oh, my God. And what, what do you think? Your family would be mad if you told them the truth? Um, or they'd be cool? I feel like if they're like you, they'd be cool. I don't think they would be. Because they know I make they 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 know that I I really put my education to good use, and they also know that um my company paid for my education, so um they even got fooled. They gave me a huge party, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and a huge check. <laughs> you think I was gonna give all of that up? No, no, never, never. You're so happy all the time. I feel like, <laughs> like I'm like. <laughs> I, I love that. I love your energy. I swear to God, it's so uplifting. And it's not an you... act. Now, this is not an act. I would like to write a book, though, like that movie, um, Catch Me If You Can. Did you see that one? That's uh, the one where the person keeps... Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, that's it. Leonardo. Yes, DiCaprio. Yes, something like that. Now, I didn't do anything major like that, like be a pilot and all of that. That's a little much. <laughs> did you get your diploma? I did. You did? I did. I, I graduated. Oh, you mean from the from the college? No. Uh-huh. But I always put it on my resume like I did. <laughs> so you lie on your resume? Yeah, but they don't care the- because I have so many years in sales. That I don't even oh, think they okay. check it. I think they go with, the, like, it's like a long list of sales jobs that I've had that I've done very well at. And then on my Instagram page, check this out. This is the funny part. Okay. Something just told me to say to, say to the job, you know, Something just hit me. Somebody just tapped me on the shoulder and said, look, on this application, just put, you don't have a degree. I already know what's going on. So I listen to God when he talks to me. So I didn't put it this time. But this is the kicker. They checked my Instagram page and it has me all graduating from university and all that dinner with my father. They're probably saying, why is she not saying she has a degree? It's all over her Instagram page. (laughs) Oh my God! Oh Why is she so being no so has... humble? She graduated from a, from a Ivy League. What is it? Did anybody ever catch you in a lie? No, no, not um in reference to the graduation anyway. <laughs> wow, I honestly feel like if somebody like hears you from your family, like I feel like your voice is like everybody knows your voice because oh, you have this know. attitude that I can't forget your voice. So they hear you, they'll be like, "Is that you?" <laughs> I don't think they would be mad. I think they would be highly surprised that I pulled it off. And they would wonder, how did you get the cap and gown? That's a job itself, to pull this shit off? Yeah, but how did you get... I mean, they just gave it to... They figured, if you're on the list to graduate, here's your cap and gown. So, and then they didn't ask you to give it back when you, when they no, were like, no, you can't graduate? No, you could keep it. No, you could keep the cap and gown. I got the pictures, the ring, everything. It was just that this one statistics class I needed to take that they didn't tell me about. So I was already mad. That I needed, and they said, you, but you can take it. Well, what do you mean? I'm supposed to graduate this year. 
Now, my wow. company now has tuition reimbursement again. It's hard. It's hard to find companies that do that. So I'm, I'm going to take like an online course and just take it and get it over with. You want to go back and finish? Yeah, just just that. It's only one course. It's one just, course. It's just the statistics three. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you did the rest. To be honest, it's... yeah, I did the rest. So, I mean, it's just one it's little thing. That they I did didn't want to sit up in the class with a bunch of kids. Yeah, you know what age. I mean. So I, this is better. I can do it online, <laughs> and it'll be over with. And then I can always put it on my resume as the truth. <laughs> I fuck with that. I should have done that. I feel like I did mm-hmm. because I did tell my my in my school like I was doing like these like social media things, and like my 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 teachers were like, "You didn't even give us your final project," and I was like, "Okay." Let's be realistic. Do you think I'm going to go to college or I'm going to go to L.A.? And then they were like, honestly, let it just fucking graduate and leave us alone. And that's how I graduated. They like, oh they, they were like, we, we, they knew that I was not going to go to college. I told them I don't want to go to college. I just want to graduate so I can leave this and be, make my parents happy. So they were like, well, whatever, we'll just give it to you. They did. They just gave it to me. I didn't deserve it. I like that. Perfect. Yeah. I literally grabbed one of them and I was like, do you really think that this will change anything? Like, I'm not going to college. And they were like, oh, fuck, whatever. We don't want to see you back. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, no, but thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for your energy. Thank you for talking to oh, us and welcome. opening up about this. You're welcome. And to the, all the, you have so many admirers right now. Like, I'm a fan of you. Ah, you're so funny. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. But thank the truth you. is the thank light. You. I'm definitely telling you the truth. And you're the only ones that know. I didn't tell anybody because I couldn't take it. I couldn't take the chance of it getting out. I couldn't trust anyone. Yeah. My father always told me, only trust you, God, and money. That's it. God bless. All right, darling. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I didn't have to say anything. I mean, this girl said it all, and her energy was fantastic. I mean, she was so happy and positive. Like, I'm here, like, like just comes in with her energy, I swear. She's, like, so loud and happy and, like, oh, my God. And she, like, met a guy in a cruise. I mean, who doesn't want to meet their love in a cruise? Like, Titanic shit, you know? When it comes to going to college, I think it goes both ways. You know, I think you can be successful going to college or not going to college. It depends on what you do after college. If you it like it depends on what you've learned and if you use those tools that you've learned, you know, like me, like I'm one of them that actually have had a good life. And I know people that also have gone to college and they've gone nowhere because maybe after college they don't know what to do. So it really depends on you. It doesn't depend on college. It depends on you. But for me, this woman went to college. She didn't pass one class. You know, for example, if you're a publicist, an actor, an athlete, whatever you want to be, and you fail one class, that doesn't really matter you know but if you're a doctor or dentist and stuff like that and you do miss a class i'd be kind of worried so it depends on what you want to do we've reached the end of this week's episode these two callers could not have been more different but darcy and christmas do have one thing in common and that is that their attitude was so positive and so fun i mean i loved talking to both of them I really enjoyed talking to them and I want to give big thanks to Darcy and Crystal for calling in. You got to hear my thoughts on Darcy and Crystal's secrets and now it's your turn to share yours. I've worked really hard to achieve my goals and I have been able to do it without college, but I know that's not the case for everybody. I didn't go to college at all, but Crystal passed every class but one. And I gotta give her credit for that because that's more than me. You know she clearly learned a lot and put in a lot of work, but you know, she didn't make it to the finish line. So the question is, do you think that graduating college makes it easier for people to become successful? Yes or no? Head over to my Instagram page at Lelepons and vote on the poll in my stories. If you enjoyed today's podcast, don't forget to follow us here on Spotify. If you or someone you know are struggling emotionally, text START to 741-741 for a confidential chat anytime. Thanks for listening to Best Kept Secrets with me, Lele Pons, only on Spotify in partnerships with Shot Studios. The Shot Studios original team includes creators John Shahidi and Sam Shahidi, my lovely producer Belinda Mercer, and audio editor Stephen Colon. From Spotify Studios executive producers Javier Pinol, Liz Gately, Gina Delvac, and Danny Trebodge. And a special thanks to Dan Behar, Jessica Molina, Francisco Quijada, and Julio Pabon. I'm Lele. Follow me on Instagram at Lele Pons and check out my exclusive merch at lilshop.com. That is lilshop, L-I-L, shop.com. Talk to you next week. <laughs>